Social media is an avenue where people interact, share experience, and cultivate relationships like never before, thereby boosting human efficiency, economy, and solving our insurmountable problems. Without any doubt, social media has contributed largely to the development of human existence, especially to host the young mind. However, as Catholic youth, there is a great need for consciousness of the social media usage. This calls for reinforcement of the jeopardized human relationship as a result of our obsessive online activities, thereby urging us to make more physical connections with people. Thus, the question how has to be answered. How can we propagate this to our fellow youth? One, cultivate the listening habit. Be receptive to other people's conditions around and also align your content with the Christ teachings. Be the filter of the contaminated social media world of today. Article 54 of the document says, go and do likewise. We need to be the positive game changer in this contaminated world of social media today and not just a player. The document helps us to know how to communicate, what to communicate and where to communicate. The document emphasizes that media should not only foster connection between people but also encourage them to commit themselves to relationship that promote a culture of respect dialogue and friendship building community in a fragmented world facilitate relationship and promote the good of the society moreover the internet was to be a promised land where people could rely on information shared on the basis of transparency, trust, and expertise. The document also emphasized some pitfalls to avoid. Firstly, as far as technology is concerned, many people still lack access not only to basic needs but also to communication technologies. Secondly, as a path leading many toward indifference, polarization, and extremism. Lastly, it can lead to further division between individual and groups. The document also makes a biblical reference of the Good Samaritan, the parable. Inspire social media relationship because it illustrates the possibility of a profoundly meaningful encounter between two complete strangers. The document also laid emphasis on listening, that it is a fundamental skill that allow us to enter into relationship with others and not just engage in exchange of information. By listening, we welcome, offer hospitality and show person respect. Also, communication impels us to be open to others with the whole of our being. And that is why the document talks about the air of the art. In addition, from the perspective of it, what to communicate, how to communicate, is also a spiritual activities. As Christian communicators, we are called to give witness to a style of communication. We must also be reflective, not reactive. Be active and be seen other on social media. And be mindful of posting and sharing of content that can cause misunderstandings. Also, to communicate truth, we must first make sure that we are conveying truthful information. With this, I recommend this document for all the youth to read, reflect on, and digest it. Also, due to the relevance of the great document to all, I recommend that further discussions through workshops, seminars, webinars should be organized among the youth of the relevance of the document. In conclusion, this document has opened our eyes to what, how, and why of communication with emphasis on life of witnessing. Do you just look for a follower or are you an influencer or a witness? Mind you, being an influencer is not a witness is what people look for online nowadays. The document discusses the positive and negative aspects of social media and it also alerts the importance of using this platform responsibly. The document also emphasizes the need for individuals to be aware of the impact of social media on their lives, a relationship, and the call for a balance between and virtual and real life interaction. 
from being an influencer to a witness. Influencer focus is spreading information to the lives of an individual, not caring if it's fruitful or not. People that take after the information should be reflective and reactive to issues, and these are people we call witnesses. The Greek word for witness is matter, and it's safe to say that these powerful influence are matter. Matter them is an ultimate sign of Christian witness. We have some benefits of social media to our youth. Social media has become an integral part of the lives of the young people today. One, enhanced communication and connectivity. Social media platform provide an opportunity for young people to connect with their peers, family and friends from different parts of the world. Opportunities of self-expression and creativity. More than a quarter of teens consider social media extremely are very important for expressing themselves creativity. But we have increased awareness of global issues. Social media exposes young people to diverse culture respective of their culture. Remember that where social media after these advantages it's essential for young people to use it responsibly, be aware of potential, risk, and maintain the healthy balance between online and offline life. The document ultimately aims to guide individuals using social media in a way that aligns with their values, belief, and encourage users to use social media as a tool for evangelization and spreading positive messages, while also remaining mindful of privacy and ethical consideration. We can spread the gospel. The only for the communion that unites us in Christ. This document of the church explores the impact of digital age, particularly social media, on individuals, community, and faith organizations like the church. It emphasizes the need for navigating digital space with love and attentiveness. It underscores the importance of promoting meaningful connection, dialogue, and hospitality while using social media responsibly for positive action. To disseminate this important message among the youth, we should consider the following strategies. One, interactive workshop and discussion. Encourage them to share their experience, challenges and ideas for navigating the digital world mindfully. And also youth lead initiative, which empower youth to take the lead in organizing events, campaigns and projects related to digital citizenship. I also recommend collaboration with youth groups. We can partner with youth group organization and clubs to integrate the text team into existing program and event. I recommend the creative expression by this. I will encourage all the youth to express themselves creatively through art, music, video and writing to convey the message of building meaningful connection and fostering community in digital age. Document of the church is clear, great and simple. I recommend this document to all you to read and reflect on the document of the church. I have a deep-seated understanding that in the digital age, there is a focus on how social media impacts Christian communities and individual spiritual journeys. Through the document, the church advocates for respectful and dialogue-driven communication online, emphasizing values like respect, understanding, and companionship. The church in the document has shown the potential of digital platforms to foster global unity and solidarity through shared experiences like Telefy's prayer as typified during the COVID-19 pandemic. I understand from the documents, particularly with the reference made to the parable of the Good Samaritan, the importance of intentional listening as a fundamental skill for fastening genuine connection and overcoming digital barriers. I also can say the significant challenges in the digital culture are information overload, shallow interaction, and the constant demand for attention. Thirdly, despite the challenges of the media, social media platforms offer opportunities for inclusive spaces, community building, and advocating for marginalized voices, which is a true call of the synodal spirit. With my understanding of the documents, the key points from it need to be disseminated to all and particularly among the youth. To disseminate this among the youth, I recommend that interactive workshops and discussions be organized where youth can engage in conversation about digital culture, its impacts and strategies for meaningful engagement. Also, peer-to-peer -peer mentoring is another recommendation. In this case, more experienced youth can guide their peers in monitoring digital spaces. 
mindfully and responsibly. Thirdly, social media platforms such as Facebook, X, TikTok, Instagram, Telegram be utilized to share messages in which these platforms are very popular among the youth. More so, engaging content can be created through videos, infographics, and interactive posts. The message of these documents can be further disseminated by encouraging active participation and feedback from youth to foster meaningful conversation. With this, I see these documents very valuable to all, especially to the youths who are both the today and tomorrow of the church and society.